Funny things are happening 4,000 years from now. Calls for help are coming from the 214th sector, and space badass extraordinaire Harrier is there to hear it. He sets off into the ever-expanding checkerboard world of Fantasyland to discover that the place is overrun with bad guys. It takes a man like Harrier to fly through space like a Super Saiyan on crystal meth, and a 16-bit cartridge to serve as his canvas with which to paint Space Harrier 2. Known for its release as a Sega Mega Drive launch title in the Land of the Rising Sun, and for its early venture into the world of video game sound with Tokuhiko Uwabo at the helm. Get ready! To the conscientious Sega Genesis fan, this game is a sibling in the happy family of early Sega fly-in shooters, sharing a bunk bed and fruit roll-ups with Galaxy Force and Afterburner. However, Space Harrier 2 is arguably the most visually and aurally stunning, full of proto-3D flair and flash, and voice sampling that is still pretty impressive to this day. When you get a face full of frog or dragon, you'll definitely appreciate the detail that the Sega development team put into either trying to creep you out or impress you. The Yeezland level can even seem somewhat claustrophobic, as a checkered roof is introduced into the gameplay along with the floor. The game moves at a diabolically fast pace, like an out-of-control locomotive cruising downhill, and it's pretty easy to die multiple times in a matter of seconds, especially since the one-hit, one-kill rule applies. Get ready. The key is to keep in mind that you can move just as fast on the ground as you do in the air, but also to accept that obstacles on the ground will slow you down just as much. Make no mistake, this is a challenging game. Back in the day, I would probably pay to see a guy nail all 13 levels with a single quarter. 